it does in some level when when you're when when everybody knows that you went through a formal training process a, a rigorous formal training process that required an upfront someone to pay for it up front and years of commitment to a curriculum when you finish that you are perceived whether you have the same skills as a painter in texas or not you're perceived differently, but I would also argue you're probably the average painter that's gone through an apprentice program in the, Australia is far more skilled or well-rounded at least than the average painter in their fourth year of painting in the States. Yeah. See, I prefer the term decorator because of exactly what you're saying, because it's, it, you know, painting is something that anyone can do here for the most part, but decor painting and decorating would insinuate that you at least know, you know, how to hang wallpaper and that you know how to, you know, do a render coat. And, you know, like the fact that I replace timber whenever I need to and just things that sort of make you a little bit more capable. Um, the, the biggest thing that I find is just the surprise on people's face. Oh, you can do that, can you? Oh, you can do that, can you? And it's like, well, we all sort of should be able to do that. And, you know, the, the biggest problem is now the it is dying a little bit, that formal process. Um, you know, like, for example, one of the people we have, she's at, um, she's through a formal process all the time. And she always tells me, Matt, like, I just I, I don't learn anything there. You know, it's, so it, it, it is becoming different which sort of is letting me down a little bit because it, when i was going through it there was integrity and you sort of wanted to learn the most that you could you know what i mean like it's yeah like uh, the biggest thing is like you know a perfect example um we did a two, 200 year old house with my my uncle um really early on and there was a door cavity that needed to be taken out and um, my uncle was just like, what's the point of paying someone to do that? Like, you know, it was an old lath and plaster wall. Um, so we just re we took out the cavity. We redid the laths, put in studs, um, and we floated the whole wall. We made it all look like that door was never there. And um, when you show that to certain people, that's a bit shocking, um, which is it's a bit weird because, like you said, it shouldn't be. Like if you're a painter and a decorator versus just a painter, you sort of have a little bit more of a understanding of what needs to be done. You know, you should understand what's behind that substrate. 